Morning, guys. It's about uh, 7.30 a.m. It is a balmy 28 degrees this morning. And uh, Blu-ray thinks it's bath time. Yeah. Indian rig necks are normally in cold climate, so I guess this is what they do. Anyhow, I got a couple of things I want to work on today. Let me show you what I got. So, let's see the first thing. What you're looking at here is hopefully the correct fittings to fix a potential issue with these motors that grenade them. Uh, basically you lose oil pressure and if you're not paying attention the motor eats itself and you're left with a giant 2,000 pound block of iron glory. So that'll be the first thing I'm going to work on and then time dependent I want to try to wire in electronic trailer brake controller. Um, I got a pin out here. I'm going to do some investigating and see if our military 12 volt plug is wired for, well, basically, if there's a wire going to the correct pin on there to convert it over because this is a seven blade. Well, it's a you know 12 pin to seven blade. Or 12 volt to 7 blade um, connector. I've just got an adapter stuck in here for right now, but I'm gonna try and decipher this whole shenanigans and uh, see what comes of it. But first, we gotta clean the garage up a bit. This is ridiculous. And I gotta move the 1082 over to make some room in the driveway for something special that's coming up that I think you guys are really gonna like. So, let's get started on that.
right guys, aside from the parking brake freezing this morning, little trick, um, if your parking brake does freeze and it was working normally before and nothing else changed, uh, take the front glad hand covers off and then try to release it again. And if it does release, um, it's a good idea to pour a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol in those glad hands and then put the caps back on it'll prevent it from freezing again anyhow um so the big hubbub lately is about this u-shaped line failing and um when it does fail uh your oil pressure goes bye-bye and it sprays oil everywhere and your motor seizes up so these are a common failure point in these motors there's actually a uh TM on it so I think I came up with a solution I'm hoping I'm hoping I got the right fittings but uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take this apart and see what we can do guys here's the old line mine happens to be in good shape um, it's a quarter inch or it's some sort of metric I think but um, they had uh, dash six ends on them but it's like an o-ring seal let's see if I can find one of these there. so it's like an o-ring seal so it's a strange it's a different type fitting but the fittings that you need are quarter inch male O-ring boss to dash four or quarter inch JIC is what I used. And then a six inch stainless braided, uh, you can use brake line because anything that's got Teflon in it, that'll handle oil. Um, this just happens to be a uh, six inch brake line. Uh, one thing to remember when you're doing this is, well, first off, so you need a straight fitting uh, quarter inch O-ring boss to quarter inch male JIC, and then you need the 90 with the same fittings, uh, the same thread pitch on each side. Make sure when you put this in, and you probably notice in the time lapse there, I was very particular about the way it sits. You do not want that stainless braided line touching anything because it will saw through whatever it's touching. So make sure that that's not touching anything when you tighten it down. And uh, these things don't need to be torqued like um, a Gorilla Torque. You just basically turn it and then when it gets tight, it's a quarter turn past that and it's good. So this is a solution for you guys that were asking about it. I will leave links down in the description. And uh, I think the total cost for this whole setup here was less than 20 bucks or 25 bucks right around there but I'll leave links in the description for the fittings all right guys let's solve a mystery today I want to see if the uh, military connector has a wire running to it on this truck somewhere for trailer brakes so what you're looking at here is a diagram 
if you're looking into the connector here, it would be like this. So this is a conversion, uh, a converter for a 12 volt military side to a, a seven pin RV. So in theory, what we have, let me see if I can get this to show up on the camera for you. It looks like pin two right here is trailer brakes. So this would be pin two right here, this guy. So I'm gonna find out on this plug where that ends up at. We'll just ohm it out. Not sure how well I'll be able to get this on camera, but. So we're gonna touch pin number two right here. And then we'll go through the plug and figure out which one of these Oh, which one was that here? Hold on. I don't have a very good grip on this thing. Looks like it's the center one? That doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe it does on the military connector. Let me double check. Okay, it is the center pin. So the center pin on here is apparently for trailer brakes. Um, now we gotta go on the truck and find the wiring harness that's attached to that. All right guys, I printed up a uh, heavy duty seven way trailer color code thing here. And it definitely does look like blue on the center pin is the auxiliary connector, the auxiliary circuit. My only question is, did the military, or Stuart and Stevenson at the time, wire that center pin to something or is it blank? So we're gonna take this apart and find out if we actually do have a wire that goes up in the cab. If we do, man, things are gonna be awesome.
right guys, let me kind of give you a rundown of what I did here. I have a uh, unused switch in here that used to be for the uh, hydraulic uh, fluid cooler for when I had the hydraulic AC. And you probably remember it was sitting right here. So there's two wires that went to it to power a, a fan. Uh, those wires are still there in that ammo box. And you saw on the time lapse where I made up the plug and I added in that center pin wire. Well, I took some wire and wire loom and ran it all the way along the frame rails right next to the uh, water tanks up to here where that uh, old wiring harness for the cooler reached and so I've got it all tie wrapped neatly along there and that will be the trailer brake signal wire as it turns out the trailer brake controller that I got from Amazon is broken and it's missing all the mounting hardware so, as luck would have it, I had to order another one. So this project will have to wait until tomorrow to get completed. I basically have to hook up this wiring harness and figure out where I want to uh, mount the controller. I ordered a different one that's got like red, red uh, LED numbers on it. So it's a little bit different, uh, same day delivery. So it should be here today, but it probably won't get here till like 9 p.m. tonight. So tomorrow morning, I'll get up and wire that trailer brake controller in and get it mounted in the cab. And that should be it. Hey guys, if you uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Forgot to mention one little thing here. Check out the rack. I got it painted for the armor for the uh, mini split. It looks pretty badass. You gotta admit, it looks pretty nice. But other than that, guys. Take care and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.